first of all, the women's stories have been silent. They do not, they, we've had these presidents of the church manuals, right? Like they, they never bring them up. You really have to go digging to find what they say. And here's the thing. They don't want you to listen to everything they say because so many of these women, Helen Mark Kimball, Lucy Walker, they, they, it's clearly there that they're upset, that they're, they're just, I, I, it's not just upset, but they're sickened. They're sickened by these proposals initially. It goes against everything that they believe in, that they think. And the, the, the thing when apologists want to say like to people like us to say, like, listen to the women, they don't want you to listen to those parts. They want you to listen to the testimony that they got at the end. They want you, they want you to ignore the very clear coercion. I, Lucy Walker says, I what like Joseph Smith tells her like, look, this is God's will. Like, and if you're not going to fall in line, like, I don't know what to say for you. Like the, the door, the, the gates of heaven are going to close against you. This is something he says to her, but they don't want you to like, think of, they ignore that part. She had a, a spiritual experience. So that means it was from God. So all the other coercion doesn't matter. This is the part that they want to listen. Or when it's modern stuff, they want you to listen to women in the church who are spouting what the men say. And I was one of of those women and and now I'm not and they don't want to listen to me because I'm on the outside now I've had a man tell me I should listen to women in the church to see how they feel even though I'm telling you I am a woman I was a woman in the church and we are it's not okay to go against the brethren it's not okay to really have your own voice so listening to them it could be their real opinion no one can ever know because that's the only okay opinion to share